Fantasy football. We are here. We are depraved. We are in the basement again. We are going to hit you up with a mock draft. A little 12 teamer, but we got a strategy here going. We're going to go all in with the zero running back strategy. It's not a strategy that I really towed around when I was in a heavy hitter FFPC league last year when a guy didn't draft a running back to the fifth round. I thought he was insane. Then he finished first in the regular season. We didn't knock him off in the playoffs, which made me feel a little bit better about it. But he did it. He did finish first in the regular season. He got out there. You know, you got you got to get your James Whites of the world. He's living off that. He's living off. Uh, you know, who was, who was last it? year? Probably Cohen. He was the good PPR guy. Probably could even be like a Lindsey. I think he snuck in. I think he got super lucky. I think he got before the Le'Veon Bell news. I think he got James Conner. And James White. I mean, he got a super sexy deluxe on the – I didn't draft a running back to the fifth round. Somehow my running backs are still better than yours. <laughs> it was insanity. So we're going to try it out and see what it looks like. And so obviously running backs going off the board. First five picks have gone a running back. But wide receiver off the board. Michael so the first wide receiver is Michael Thomas. That's, and that's, I don't know how I feel about that's that. A, that's stiff, baby. I think you got to go Hopkins and Adam. I think – yeah. Thomas is my third, but I think Hopkins and Adams are guaranteed. I think they're just gu guaranteed more more uh, quality of targets. Michael Thomas is more of a possession receiver than those other two guys. That I... All right, so Gordon's off, and then Hopkins and Adams went off. So for us, I think for uh, the no running back strategy, we're going to say the first four rounds, no running backs. Yeah. We'll say the fifth round is when you can draft your first running back. So here we're looking at. I feel like it's easy here. I mean, we. Get, I feel like you have to. What? Well, I don't know. Julio or OBJ. I feel like I Julio. Julio you have him. to go. I feel like he has ceiling and is safer. OBJ is moving to a new team, a new city. You know, there's little. There's question marks that surround that. I think Julio I think Jones Julio. is as safe as it gets right here. Strap it on, Julio. Bell just went. So obviously we like to get some OBJ, some or Juju, Juju, maybe yeah. No, uh, Juju just went. What's the level? OG, OBJ isn't there. Do you just lean on Kelsey? Yeah, I feel like, yeah, because I don't know if you can. I feel like getting a guy like Mike Evans or like Antonio Brown, I mean, you're looking at, I think Kelsey is going to be within the same amount of points for those guys. I think and you can get a position where I feel like you have to dominate a position if you're going to go a no running back stretch. You have to draft a Pat Mahomes or you have to draft a guy like a Kelsey. You have to dominate. You, you have, have to, to dominate at least quarterback yeah. or tight end. Yeah. Absolutely. And you go, and Travis Kelsey broke down in like, ha, right. in like full point so PPR getting, uh, last year. Finished as the wide receiver seven, I think. So this is not a stretch. We're getting right. OBJ here. All right, he's available. We're going to wait and see if we can get Ertz or Kittle in the third. Because Kelsey, so, baby. Kelsey I'm, just went here in the second. Cross so. your fingers for the Ertz and the Kittle. Because I, mean, I think you have to get one of those top three guys if you're going zero running back. I yeah. think you do. All right, Kelsey. Damian Williams got a oh, drafted before Todd Gurley. That's got to be a chief homer. <laughs> that's got to be a chief homer. All in. Todd Gurley, Mike Evans, Thielen just went. Dalvin Cook, Aaron, Aaron Jones, Jones in the in second. That's Dude, the highest I think I see. Yeah. Keenan Allen in the second. Keenan Allen over Antonio Brown and T.Y. Yeah, Hilton, baby. Brown's usually in that mid-second yeah, round. Yeah, no love for the Antonio Brown in this draft. First pick of the third. He just went off the board. Yeah, had Chubb go right before Brown. Yeah, Chubb and, and Brown the turn. Devontae Freeman. Cooper. T.Y. Mom and Mac, Leonard Fournette, Zach Ertz, Josh so, Jacobs. All right, so... Well, we still got kind of two dominant guys here. All right, Pat Mahomes. So I feel like we were between kind of Pat Mahomes and Kittle because we needed to dominate right. one of those two yeah. positions. So Pat Mahomes is off, makes her job easy. We got to go Kittle, and we can't even care about anyone else on the board right now. Yeah. We have to get Kittle. I think A.J. Green or Stephon Diggs would probably be the only guys I would con consider well, over Kittle right now in the zero running back strategy. Yeah. We'll see if we can get those guys Hopefully. coming back here. No, yeah, if we can get Diggs, there. All right, AJ's, AJ's but, off. Nah, see what happens. See what happens when we talk about him. Kirion lasted a while. He lasted all the way to the 3-4 turn. 
Edelman, Edelman. Edelman we like the digs here. Edelman would have been Edelman another nice. Would have been another nice guy. Ah, right, there's Diggs. Nah, you knew it. You All knew right. it was gonna happen. All right, now so we're, we're looking at, at like the uh, we're looking at Rams wide receivers. <laughs> <laughs> All three of them. The Rams wide receivers looking at Kenny Galladay. We're looking like, at Ty Lockett, but I, that's a little too early for me for the Lockett. I feel like of the three L.A. wide receivers, I feel like you have to go Brandon Cooks. All right, well, let's sew it up. Yeah, that's fine. I feel like I that's you fine. have to. He's in that 12 to 15 overall PPR. Yeah, I, I, think, that's, I think that's good and fun to have to. It's fine. Derrick Henry, is that a little running back run here? Yeah, this is not good for our yeah, running back strategy. Kevin and I were watching our – because you get all these running backs up, you get them in your loaded up draft spot. And you just watch them just fall. It's like dominoes out there. We got Henry, Lindsey, Montgomery, and Mark Ingram all going in a row. We had a little bit of wide receiver run, which we like. And Woods, Gaudet, Tyreek Hill, Chris Godwin, and Calvin Ridley at Dude, the end of the, That's paying the piper. I don't know if I've seen. I don't know if I've seen Godwin or Ridley in the fourth. Yeah, that's really high on Godwin too. They're both. They're both. They were like late fifth guys like a couple weeks ago. O.J. Howard, two more guys. It's Sony Michelle, Kenyon Drake, also gone. We, we're looking at James White. Oh. He's best available. Tyler Lockett just went. I mean, we got if we get James White, I'll be all. Oh, of course, James, James White, White is gone. James White is gone. What a bunch right, of. We're pulling up some guys. Oh man, I mean, I think we're suck. staring straight in the face of Chris Carson, Lamar Miller. Tariq Cohen? Oh, no. Maybe like a Tim Coleman, but that I don't feel good about. Kitty. Kitties. All right, wide receivers just went. We have to, we're forced our hand. I, I feel like Chris Carson is really the only play here. Uh, I hate it. I'm not a Chris Carson. But, I mean, the I, don't love, the team, I don't love Chris Carson. What we need. But uh, these guys is the only guy who can get you high-end RB2. He There's finished really, as an RB1 last year. But I, that's not happening. That's not happening. That was no. a swan song. That's over now. <laughs> All right. Watson went. Mike Williams. Tevin Coleman. Tevin Coleman. And Evan Ingram. So uh, we got to get uh, running back. Tariq or Lamar Miller or Darius Geis. Oh, my goodness. Because you can't I get mean, into the Rashad Penny, Daryl Henderson, or... Or Miles Sanders as your starter, or even, or even, I mean, that's insane. You not, can't draft those guys. Not Jordan too. Howard. No, I'd rather draft like, Miles Sanders. I feel like it's Cohen or Miller. Cohen. I feel like Miller's a safer play. I think you like, can handcuff him for super cheap. Yeah, I mean, if we're looking at this, is literally our starting running back here. We need someone who's gonna at least be safe. Someone that There's we can put in for three weeks. Fifteen touches a game is probably happening. You gotta someone, feel okay about that. Someone that we can start weeks one through three before maybe some of these other dart throws start to really get developed. We just need a guy to start our lineup. Yeah, we need the guys at this right. point. If you're going to zero running back, then you need these guys at this point who are getting zero respect. And you just like, got like to hope that you can even get like yeah, like a guy like an Adrian Peterson in like the thirteenth round. Like he might be your guy, like starting week one for yeah, you. Yeah, he might be. He might be getting eighteen carries week <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah. I don't know. Until this guy's coming off of ACL, he might be your starter weeks one and two in yeah, fantasy. Yeah, I mean, we're looking at it, you got Julio Jones, OBJ, and Brandon Cooks in your wide receiver slots and your flex, and you got George Kittle banging at the tight end spot. I mean, I'm not hating on it that bad. I mean, I know Chris Carson and Lamar Miller are the definition of unsexiness. <laughs> the absolute definition. But with this strategy, you do have to take a lot of dart throws at running backs late. You but I think get... by, I mean, I mean, I think by. Well, you got to think, those three wide receivers, they're clanging and banging. George I mean, Kittle? Julio, OBJs, Brandon Cooks, I think all easily can be top 12. I think you need to make sure. You also do not let quarterbacks slip too far. You need at yeah. least a Carson Wentz or a Cam Newton, somebody that's going in those seventh and eighth rounds. You yeah. need to. You can't. You if you're going like this, you gotta yeah. have that decent. I mean, quarterback maybe even Watson slides down to like the seventh or something, sixth or seventh. But yeah, I feel like you. Yeah, well, if Watson you're gonna go. Went. Well, I'm just saying. Yeah, if you if you're saying if you're gonna go running back strategy. 
You need to get a top three tight end. I feel like have however to. that you gotta plays, get one of those three big boy bangers. And you have to at least, or you get a Mahomes guy, or you get Pat Mahomes. I feel like you have to get one of those four, and whatever the side you don't choose, say you choose the Pat Mahomes. In I think the you third still round, gotta get an. Evan you Ingram. still have to get a high end, like sixth, seventh round, eighth round tight end. You, you gotta, can't wait on it. You gotta get an Evan Ingram. Or uh, O.J. Howard, if you want to, you know, yeah. if you want to go fifth round out there. Well, there it is. We just gave you six rounds here just to see what your starting lineup at running back would look like with the no running back strategy. I'm not hating on it. I'm not really feeling it. I mean, you need to. <laughs> I, yeah. I mean, you need to. <laughs> I like you need to like backs. load your bench with like five running backs with like high ceilings that slash catch the ball. Like yeah, you're gonna like, need some ball. Ca- you're gonna need, some you're gonna need the ball. like you're gonna need to take some like first of all Foreman. You're gonna have to pay like an eighth ninth round for Foreman to yeah, handcuff yeah. with Lamar Miller. Maybe even Penny's there in the ninth for some reason. I don't think he's gonna slide that far, but you never know. But you need to get guys like the Austin Ecklers, the Naheem Hines, guys who can catch the ball. Yeah, balls. Naheem is a great 13th round pick in yeah. the zero running back strategy for sure. It's probably as good as it gets as a 13th, as a late round pick in the zero running back strategy. Got, yeah, I mean, I think so. All right, so That's there it is. Point. Let us know what you think. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, leave us a comment. See if there's any other strategy videos that you want us to give to you. Tell, tell Travis how sexy Deluxe's basement setup looks down here. Do you like it? Do you like it, Tanker's Army? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Holler at us. Tell me my basement looks like shit. This is <laughs> fucking out of low. There's fucking shitty wood paneling I have. Inspire me. I am gonna we got all my, glory back here. I ain't gonna paint my wood paneling gray now. I think I'm gonna go all oh, in. I think I'm gonna paint it. dedication. We're gonna paint it. We're done. All right. There it is. Thank you very much for watching. We'll catch you next like time. Like the cut of our jib, baby. Hit that like button because we do appreciate it. We gotta get up there. We gotta get these videos into the 50 like realm. I mean, I know that's insane. I don't give a shit. I don't care. <laughs> We're depraved. Fucking make another account if you have to. Make fake accounts. Make fake accounts for us, please. Get in there. Because if you feel if we make fake accounts, that's shameful. But if they do, that's just that's just loving a brother. Yeah. <laughs> that's just love. We'll that's send just, you that's just brotherly love, baby. Send the link in your fantasy football group chat. Oh man, yeah. Share the love. Share the love, man. I dare you. Just do it. <laughs> Thank you. We'll see you next time. Cheeseburger.